Now just take out your English books, your lead pencils, and your diaries in your hand. I'm repeating it again. Please take out your English books, lead pencils, as well as your diaries in your hand. Today we are going to start our new chapter, the lesson number three. And the lesson name is sports. Now I'm going to share my screen with you all. In the meanwhile, please take out your books and lead pencils in your hand. Okay, students, today we are going to start with the lesson that names as sports. So can anybody tell me what is sports? Please answer me in the chat box, what is sport? Tell me in the chat box that what is sport. But in the uh, in the last class, I already tell you that you who is annotations, we teacher know that the the participant who is doing the annotations. We are not ignorant about it. Lecture. Now listen attentively towards me. We are going to start our next chapter. Before starting the new chapter. Let me share the thought of the day or the message of the day. Every new day is an other chance to change something in your life. Every new day is a chance to feel blessed for what you have. So the every new day is the best chance for you. Get up with the new enthusiasm, get up with new enthusiasm every day no matter what happens yesterday you need to feel fresh and need uh, need to be feel active and excited for your new day then move towards the sports yes you all are right but is the sport now just talk about the sport here what is the sport sport means all forms of physical activities so you all correctly well said that this is a physical activity through which casual and organized participants aim to expressing and improving their physical fitness and mental well-being from social relationship or obtaining the result in the competition at all level. No matter the sport is important at the childhood no matter it's important for the kids, no matter it's important for the adult, for the youngster, the sports has an equal benefit for all. The sport have the equal quality and equal importance for every single person. Okay? Now just move towards the second slide. Now this is my question. Which sport do you prefer to play in school time? Please answer me in the chat box. Which, which sports do you prefer to play in school time? There are the, some examples I have told you. Football, gymnastic. Uh, again, sorry. Again, it is written as the football, hockey, and tennis. So you need to tell me the, what is your priority in your school um if a school uh, me okay football ushna tennis football tennis sarun football abir football susanna racket and cricket stais gymnastic so these are all your priorities in your free time. 
these are all priorities to play as a as a sport i appreciate you all that you are interested in the outdoor activities abu bakar that's very good hockey do you all know that hockey is a our national game do you know that do the students know that ke hockey is our national game very good so now we are going to move towards the today's work as you can see take out the page number 36 i am repeating it again page out the uh, take out the page number 36 and you can see that the question number 2 the activity number 2 match a picture in activity 1 to the word in the box so as you can see in the activity 2 that you need to match the picture of the activity 1 in the box okay can you explain me the first picture as you can say the picture a what the picture a depicts what kind of a picture a is picture a beta picture a the picture a is of athletes or racing it's of athlete very good jessica ushna efra efra not racing it's all about the athletes as you can see in your word study there is an there is no word given to you as a race so the answer is athletes Or what about the second one student what about the second one the b one it's about the gymnastic and a good it's about gymnastic student what about the c one look at the picture c one what is it about the c one is about is it bad badminton or tennis it is badminton what is the picture d about d students the picture d the picture d is it football or basketball i think student it's basketball d1 is the basketball what about e what about e abdul ahad it's not volleyball it's a basketball and e1 is hockey e is hockey and f is judo so the one was the first was athlete the second was the b was gymnastic the third one was badminton the fourth one was basketball the fifth one was hockey and the sixth one was judo so these all are the answer hope so it's now clear to you now beta the the ball in the volleyball is a different kind of a ball after the lecture i will show you what kind of the ball is used in the volleyball okay now move towards the second one move towards the page number 37 the begin of the 37 the word word study the sport equipment the question is match the pictures to the word in the box 
match the picture to the word in the box then match the equipment to the correct score from the activity 1 so as you can see that there are many type of the pictures that are mentioned on your book okay you need to tell me you need to tell me yes you can write the number in the box okay you need to tell me ki what is the answer if we talk about the a what is in the a what is the answer of a the googles very good if we talk about b what will be the answer in the b b students b it's racket very good if we talk about c if we talk about c students it's shuttlecock if we talk about d if we talk about d it's shin pads if we talk about e what will be in the e students in e so the answer in the e is hockey hockey a hockey stick very good what about f what about f okay student in the f is the trunks f is the trunks what about the g in the g a net no sorry in the g the goal posts in the g it will be the goal post what about h in h it is a net i am repeating it again a is goggle b is a racket c is a shooting cock D is shin pads. E is a hockey stick. F is trunks. G is goal post, and H is a net. Hope so. Now it's also clear to you all. Now just move towards the today's activity. now this is the activity which you need to do on your english a copies i am repeating it again that this is an activity that you people need to do on your english a copies so the question is as you can see on your screens complete the sentences with word from the box as you can see that there, there are the many words that are written in the box that is the shin pad racket goggles shuttle cock goal post and trunk now these are the filling the blanks that you need to fill it out with the help of these words okay you dash you wear dash to protect your eyes when you are swimming so what will be the answer students okay that's very good that you wear goggles that you wear goggles to protect your eyes when you are swimming now move towards the second one now move towards the second one you you wear dash to protect you wear dash to pro protect the front part of your leg between the knees and ankles what will be the answer students the answer will be shin pad very good now move towards the next slide and the move towards the third one complete the sentences with the word from the box again and the third one is you hit a dash when you are playing badminton 
you hit a dash when you are playing badminton what you hit you hit a shuttlecock when you are playing badminton in the fourth one boys wear dash and shorts when they are when they go swimming boys wear dash or shorts when they go swimming what will be the answer boys wear trunks very good hope so that's the everything is clear to you know and i am very vivid to you all fifth one is you hit the ball with the dash when you are playing tennis or badminton you hit the ball with a dash when you are playing tennis or badminton so in the fifth one the answer is a racket very good and the now move toward the last one dash tell you when the goal is when you are playing football dash tell you when the goal when you are playing football you can see the answer from here it's a goal post abhi very good and puzal it's good okay students these are the answers that i have given for your activity you need to do that task on your english a copies keep it my keep it in your mind that you need to do it in your english a copies now i am going to giving you the home task your homework take out your diaries now take out your diaries and note it down that this is your today's homework write the following questions the first is what sport do you like best this is the question that is all about yourself you need to answer us about yourself what sport do you like best the second one is what equipment do you need for your favorite sport you need to tell us what kind of the equipments you need to play your favorite sport maybe it's uh, ball and bat maybe it's racket and shuttlecock maybe it's football and net it depend upon your choice and the third one is what is the best thing about your favorite sport what is the best thing any one importance any one thing that can elaborate your choice okay now the activity that we have done today you need to do on your english a copies now i am going to 